uh, probably as a little girl, I like lots of other girls wanted to be a Catholic sister, but then I grew up and I discovered guys and I discovered fun in life and lots of other things, parties, and I thought, oh, I don't want to do that. We were teaching second graders who were preparing for First Communion and, Confer and uh, penance. And what she did, what the Sister Teresa Mary did was she had the children go over from the school to church and she had them hold hands and skip on their way to church. And then in, we got into church and she was telling them a Bible story. And I remember sitting there, I was 17 years old and I was mesmerized because I thought for the first time in my life, I realized that you could learn about God and have fun at the same time, that one did not negate the other. And I, at that moment, I would say the seed of my desire really to do that, to imitate, to emulate that, was really planted in me and started to grow. I'm one of eight children. I have five brothers and two sisters, so I grew up in a, obviously, a very large family. So coming into community was not new to me, um, being with other people. So in that sense, for me, religious community, being a sister, has been being with a group of women who have a common desire and a common purpose. And really, there's so much more, the whole is so much greater, literally, than the sum of the parts. We're so much richer because we can do this together and we have the same goal. But in the broader sense of community, it's really um, going further and further out, as Jesus did, really to the margins and inviting the people in who, who, who don't have a home, who don't have a place to be, whether that's literally a physical home, people who are homeless, or people who in our country are undocumented, for example, or people who, are, who have a home, a physical home, but they're not at home within themselves. And that's, that's really what my uh, experience and my desire of community is, is to be much broader than just the group of sisters that I belong to. And then to establish those deep bonds and learn from each other, those deep bonds of relationship with people so that I've got, in some ways, I guess I would say I have uh, families all over the country in all the various places where I've been missioned and where I've worked. I really think so often the book of Deuteronomy where God says, I put before you life and death. Choose life, therefore, that you and your, you and your descendants may live. And that's what, what's important is not that we keep a contract that we had, but that we live the covenant with God, which is the covenant to be, uh, to be fully alive and be fully human and to be at the service of God's people. And for me, that was making that choice then to be a sister of God's court. Healing miracles happen all the time. Just ask the sisters of Bon Secours. To join with others in exploring religious life is a possible option for you. Contact the Sisters of Bon Secours at 1-877-742-0277 or email us at cbsvocations at bshsi.com.